There we go. There we go. All right, guys, welcome back to the Leaky Jabo Company. Today we're doing some smallmouth fishing on the river. We're gonna fish the usual spots up by the bridge and stuff like that, and then we're gonna go on to some new land. We're gonna venture down. This public land track runs for pretty long down here, so we're gonna try to find some new spots, some new holes, and see what we can get into. And if you guys are new here, remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm almost to 50 subscribers. Not as high as I thought I would be, but I'm definitely moving up. So uh, remember, subscribe to the channel and uh, stick with us and we'll see what we can make happen. All right, guys, I'm starting off with this light colored, just mini spinner bait. It's got a little bit of red speck in there. The water's pretty dark, so I did not tie a leader on. We're just gonna cast into these pools. I mean, they don't look very deep. But there could be something hiding in there. We're gonna fish pretty fast today. We're gonna fish here for maybe five, 10 minutes and then just move on to the next hole. We are at hole number two already, just above where I was fishing. <clears throat> no bites in that first hole, so we're just gonna move along. This looks a little bit deeper. There's definitely some really nice cover right here we might be able to pull a fish out of. The fish are not being super aggressive, so we're gonna try, I think we're gonna try a Texas rig with just a tube or, or whatever, some soft plastics, and uh, we're gonna see where that can get us. All right, guys, this is just what I tied on. Just a green, I think it's just a green pumpkin. Green with red flakes and some blue flakes in there, black flakes. We're just gonna jig this off the bottom. I know there's fish in here. It's not like we're searching for fish, but uh, we're gonna go at them a little bit slower than the spinner bait. Even though I preached up and down last time, spinner bait's where it's at. This is what I caught them in Pennsylvania with though, so maybe I can catch them here with it. There we go. Right next to the bridge. That is a nice fish. Oh my God. He was sitting right next to the bridge. I'm gonna have trouble landing him. I'm just gonna have to jump. Oh my God, this fish is huge. There we go, another toad. No scale or anything like that, but oh my God. Perfectly hooked. Let's get back up on the uh, Back up on the bridge. He smashed it. Right when I threw it up against the, uh, right there, against the pillar. Oh my God. Let's see if I can get him on here. This, this fish is just perfect. I can't even subscribe it. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, what a beautiful smallie. I and mean, right out of the creek just a second ago, he is just an absolute toad. I don't know how big he is. Probably bigger than that last big one I caught upstream from here, but uh, what a perfect fish. We're gonna get him back in the water after some pictures and uh, 
Oh my god. What an awesome fish. You should just swim right back down. We are gonna try that again. Let's grab my rod. Right back up against the pylon. I mean, they might be sitting right there. Right up close. Here we go. Right up against the pylon again. I think this is a largemouth. That is the first creek largemouth of the year. Not a bad fish at all either. There we go. I hooked him perfectly. Beautiful. He's actually got a little bit of blood, so we're going to let him go real fast. Let's get down and get him. Get him in the water. But, first largemouth, not that bad. Nice little fish. Right up against the pylon again, right there. Right against that pylon and a uh, little log sticking in there. We're gonna get this fixed up. Maybe not. We're gonna have to redo this one. This thing's getting pretty beat up, but we're going to try to get another fish on it. Right up in there. I'm actually going to fish. I'm going to try right here, right along where I'm standing. This is where the fish are. Not a good cast, but they're just sitting against this concrete. They might be right here. All right, guys, that uh, little Senko was getting a little worn out, so I switched it up to just Yum Craw. A little bit more realistic, I don't know. Maybe it'll have a different effect. I know it's got a lot of motion when it's sinking. Maybe the fish will be attracted to the motion of it sinking, the claws doing their thing. We're gonna try here for just a couple more minutes then we're gonna run downstream, find some new water. There's another bridge that I wanna fish. So we're gonna go try to fish that other bridge. And uh, we're gonna see what we can get happen down there, but I'm gonna do a couple casts here. All right, guys, that wraps it up for right here. We're going to walk way downstream, and we're going to fish our way back up. I think there's another bridge down there, so we're going to go to the other bridge, fish the bridge, then just fish our way back up and head out of here. So uh, stick with us, and we'll see what happens. bridge is somewhere way over that way but I'm not walking through all that stuff to get there so we are gonna stop here I think fish for a little bit and then uh, head back but we're gonna try here maybe get in some nice ones looks like there's some decent cover I did walk past some nice rip wrap that we're definitely gonna hammer on the way back so super excited about that but this spot looks pretty nice too. Okay guys, I ditched the Texas rig back to the uh, chartreuse spinnerbait. 
definitely my favorite bait. Not much on the uh, lighter colored spinnerbait earlier today, but this is a little bit brighter color, new water. So we're gonna test it out, see what we can get into. I'm not really in an ideal spot to be fishing a spinnerbait right now, because if I catch a fish, I'm gonna have to run down there or drag them up here. But uh, maybe we'll get into some. We're gonna move around a little bit down here in this deep hole. Looks like there's plenty of structure for the fish to be hiding behind. Which is always awesome. And this is way back far in, so I don't know if anyone else has really fished here that much. I'm not seeing tracks with other people, so that makes it makes me feel really good that I'm gonna get into some nice nicer fish. Even though I got into some nicer fish right in the uh, trails area, but we'll try here. There's a spot right there. I'm gonna go down on the bank. A little bit more ideal for uh, for fishing. Instead of standing way up high. Spinnerbait just doesn't seem to be the move today. I'll try a few more casts and then I'm going to throw back on that uh, little Senko. Alright, I'm going to change it up real quick. And we are going to try to get another fish before we get out of here. I'm going to throw on a, a little green and white Senko. Hopefully, we can get one more fish. I like this spot down here, but it is not treating me very well. So it's unfortunate, but I definitely think we can still get into a fish. There's gotta be. My Texas rig is super simple. Just a small hook. I don't know exactly what size this is, but just a small red hook. The, the smallmouth seem to like the red. I don't know what it is about the red, but I've changed to black before, or regular hook color, whatever you want to call it, and they just don't seem to go for it as aggressively. I came back up river a little bit, about halfway back to where we started. I'm gonna try to get into some fish right here, but Either the bite is just off or the fish are just hanging out in that super deep pool. I know there's got to be fish in here somewhere, but finding a bite right now is just seems almost impossible. I just had a little hit right here by the mouth. I mean, it's got to be just a little rock bass, the way that he's biting it. All right, guys, there we, there we go, finally. It took me a minute to get him, and he was being super particular. He did not want to bite. He did not want to take it. But I finally got him. Right out from the cover. Nice little smallmouth. We're just gonna let him go. The rain's coming in, so that was perfect timing. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna let his friends be. All right, guys, that about wraps it up. Just a few smallmouth and a largemouth, but definitely some fun creek fishing. The rain's coming in, so I'm trying to get out of here. But remember, guys, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you guys get a chance, go on to the, uh, the leakyjohnboatcompany.com. I'll put a link in the description below. There's all sorts of cool t-shirts on there. This is a catfish t-shirt. There's a musky t-shirt. There's all sorts of saltwater fishing t-shirts. Some, there's some general camping t-shirts and stuff like that. And also, all the SBO apparels on there. 
So if you guys want some SBO apparel, there's ho hats, hoodies, t-shirts just like this one. And uh, you guys check that out. If you guys don't know what uh, SBO is, my brother started that a few years ago and it's just us hunting. It's just pretty much the same thing, but lots of good camera work. We're doing lots of farm projects, lots of food plots, all sorts of stuff like that, trips out, out of state. Really an awesome channel to check out. Like it on Facebook, go on Instagram, it's on YouTube, all that stuff guys. Just check it out and uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you. And right out of the creek just a second ago. He is just an absolute toad. I don't know how big he is. Probably bigger than that last big one I caught upstream from here, but uh, what a perfect fish. We're gonna get him back in the water after some pictures of uh, 